music is probably as compelling a, a content story as there is out there. I right mean, now. Right now, and I, I mean, right now, and for consumers, regardless of where the revenue line was going, right? Consumers love music. That's the key. We, we do love it, but somehow we've gotten around paying for it, or paying as much as we used to, at least. I used to spend a bigger budget, a bigger part of my budget on music, I think. And now you can pick and choose songs, you know, right. you can find ways of slicing and dicing. Well, I think this unbundling is precisely what's undoing a lot of the media business plans, right, and, and business models. Uh, and music was the first to try to contend with this. I think ultimately music is probably better off under a subscription or a streaming model than it was even in the in the 80s and 90s when it was selling uh, albums. Because, but I think it's gonna, because we buy more as a result? or Because more people will be buying music, uh, I think, and spending, maybe each person spending a little bit less than the f fanatics who are buying albums. Right. But I think at the end of the day, it, it broadens its distribution base and will probably, I think, can can grow beyond where it was in the in the physical days. Does yeah. that pay off to the artist? I'm, I'm sorry, just to, okay. to, to, because it, it seems like the distribution, like maybe that works and maybe there are other people who are making a lot of money on it. When you talk to artists these days, they say it's really being on the road that's how they make their money. Well, listen, I, I think there's a question as who makes money at all, right? Because the artists do make their money more on, on the road these days. Mm -hmm. Spotify complains that it pays too much to the content companies, and the content companies aren't making a whole lot of money. So, so where's it going? Yeah. Uh, I, I think this is, a, a, in a sense, a fixed income, uh, sorry, a fixed cost model. And until that, that subscription model grows further, it's going to be tough to, th to, to throw a lot of profits uh, in lots of different ways. But, you know, at Warner Music, we, I mean, we, that was a, a great success. We paid our equity holders back in the first nine months. We strengthened the company's competitive uh, uh, position in the industry, and we, we rewrote the model for content companies in terms of creating 360 deals versus just record deals. And um, I think the music industry is is back to a healthy growth, and we'll see. But I, I there's it's the most in a way that's the most compelling consumer content. People sort of. Met, think back and have a soundtrack to their lives and songs mean stuff to people and I think uh, whether they continue to be independent or they become part of a larger business it's hard to say.